sometimes it seems like in hiring, you know, we pay like lip service to people who are like anonymous. We're like, that's cool. We respect that. But, you know, if you want to come work for me, we really want people who are who are doxxed. Um, and it seems like in the past year or two, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that like the the opportunities for people, you know, hiring that are making the roles available to to, anon, to anons is is growing. So I want to know all your thoughts on like that particular aspect of, of hiring in crypto. It's a really kind of I guess interesting trend. I think it's still like a minimal amount of like the actual industry. Like there's obviously a lot of people in the industry that are anonymous and you know for for good reason. Um, I think you know many of those people like are okay if there is a job they're seriously interested in like kind of revealing their identity or kind of separating that. Um, but you do see, and I think one of the best parts about the crypto world in general is just like, for the most part, the respect people pay towards skill versus, um, and, and just kind of talent and ability versus like your pedigree and things like that. Um, so I, I do think you've, you know, you've definitely seen certain companies um, like even even like something like Paradigm hiring like Samsung is like a research partner and like his <laughs> his his profile uh, or his picture on like the Paradigm website is like an anime character is like his his like avatar like and so, like something like that that's like one of the top venture firms in the space hiring a dude that is not I don't know if he's fully doxxed or doxxed or kind of the the entire entirety there but there's a lot of kind of instances like that I think even now to Maybe it's a little bit more like kind of DeFi-ish land, but like a lot of like the DAOs and things like that that are kind of springing up. And there's a lot of, of things on that side of the house where they're they're a little bit kind of less, I guess, traditional company. Um, but it, it's something that I guess is maybe not the most as, as common as you think, given the, the number of anonymous people on Twitter and things like that. But um, it's... I would say probably one of the only industries in, in the world where you can you know, have basically a full-time job and, and not have to reveal your identity, which is pretty cool. Interesting point, I think, with this. I mean, we will always say to candidates 99% of the time, the company will expect at some point to know who you are, whether that's through a reference check or whether that's onboarding or something like that. The only job where we've really come across this, where I think being anonymous, I think, actually works in your favor. Um, we had a candidate about maybe about nine months ago, it was around about the turn of the year, and I'll never forget this guy. So he sent me over this decoded, like this encrypted message via the application form. I was like, what's this? And then I had to decode it. Basically in there, he put like, I'm the hacker of this DeFi project. Here's the proof of it. I want, I'm interested <laughs> in this job. Like, you know, contact me. So I was like, at this point, I'm like, geez, has he hacked our computer? I'm getting worried. But then I was like, this guy is genuinely looking for a job in the security space. Hmm. But because his real world profile has nothing to do with security and DeFi and in crypto, there's no point in putting it. He's going to put something that's, I mean, it's probably the best resume you can show to a, a security um, audit company, right? Here's a com contract to hacked, here's the proof. So I think in that case, there is, you know, validity of people wanting to stay anonymous. And I think, again, just for anyone listening out there who might be working in the security sector of crypto, Again, kind of utilizing your anonymous ID um, it is very valuable. And I think that that actually applies to other jobs as well, whether you're a research analyst, whether you're marketing. If you can kind of translate what you've done in the public space into, into working for a company, really push comes to shove. The company don't care what your name is. They'll just hire you based on what your skills are.